Bereavement of the Fields by William Wilfred Campbell Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo Bereavement of the Fields In memory of Archibald Lampman, who died February 10, 1899 Soft fall the February snows, and soft falls on my heart the snow of wintry pain. For nevermore, by wood or field or croft, will he we knew walk with his loved again. No more, with eyes a dream and soul aloft, in those high moods where love and beauty reign, greet his familiar fields, his skies without a stain. Soft fall the February snows, and deep, like downy pinions from the molting breast of all the mothering sky, round his hushed sleep, flutter a million loves upon his rest, where once his well-loved flowers were fain to peep, with adder tongue and waxen petals pressed, in young spring evenings, reddening down the west. Soft fall the February snows, and hushed seems life's loud action, all its strife removed, afar, remote, where grief itself seems crushed, and even hope and sorrow are reproved, for he whose cheek erstwhile with hope was flushed, and by the gentle haunts of being moved, hath gone the way of all he dreamed and loved. Soft fall the February snows, and lost, this tender spirit gone with scarce a tear, ere loosened from the dungeons of the frost, Wakens with yearnings new the enfranchised year. Late winter wizened, gloomed, and tempest tossed, and Hesper's gentle, delicate veils appear, when dream anew the days of hope and fear. And Mother Nature, she whose heart is fain, yea, she who grieves not, neither faints nor fails building the seasons she will bring again march with rudening madness of wild gales april and her wraiths of tender rain and all he loved the soul whom memory veils beyond the burden of our strife and pain not his to wake the strident note of song nor pierce the deep recesses of the heart, those tragic wells remote of might and wrong, but rather with those gentler souls apart, he dreamed like his own summer days along, filled with the beauty born of his own heart, sufficient in the sweetness of his song. Outside this prison house of all our tears, enfranchised from our sorrow and our wrong. Beyond the failure of our days and years, beyond the burden of our saddest song, he moves with those whose music filled his ears and claimed his gentle spirit from the throng. Wordsworth, Arnold, Keats, thy masters of his song. Like some rare pan of those old Grecian days, here in our hours of deeper stress reborn, unfortunate thrown upon life's evil ways, his inward ear heard ever that satyr horn from nature's lips reverberate night and morn, and fled from men in all their troubled maze, standing apart with sad and curious gaze. And now, untimely cut, 
like some sweet flower plucked in the early summer of its prime before it reached the fullness of its dower he withers in the morning of our time leaving behind him like a summer shower a fragrance of earth's beauty and the chime of gentle and imperishable rhyme songs in our ears of winds and flowers and buds in gentle loves and tender memories of nature's sweetest aspects her pure moods wrought from the inward truth of intimate eyes and delicate ears of him who harks and broods and nightly pondering daily grows more wise and dreams and sees in mighty solitudes soft fall the february snows and soft he sleeps in peace upon the breast of her he loved the truest where by wood and croft the wintry silence folds in fleecy blur about his silence while in glooms aloft the mighty forest fathers without stir guard well the rest of him their rare sweet worshipper and a poem this recording is in the public domain